Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Ung Studio, and today we're designing and making a custom wood beer caddy with a bottle opener and tray to catch the bottle caps. Since I live in Buffalo, this beer caddy will be personalized for the Buffalo Bills who are doing fantastic in 2021. Let's get started with this project. For our materials and tools, we'll be using quarter inch mahogany plywood, paper masking, wood glue, a rubber dead blow hammer, an oil finish, and a Glowforge laser cutter. I get a lot of questions about what paper masking I use and some of the other tools that I mention. Make sure you check out the resources page linked in the description section of this video. I'll also share a link that'll get you up to $500 off of a Glowforge Pro. To design this project, I sketched out some ideas by hand so I could figure out the proportions of the beer caddy. Honestly, it started off by measuring the diameter of a beer bottle so I could be sure that they'll fit in the specific slots of the beer caddy. Then, I used a software called Rhinoceros and started off by drawing the dimensions of the front, back, and side panels. The overall size of the beer caddy will be 12 inches wide without the side tray for catching caps, 6 inches deep, and 7 inches tall. It'll hold a total of 6 bottles of beer. When the overall box was designed, I moved on to designing the finger joints and slots for this project to come together. The goal is to get as tight of a fit for the finger joints and slots as possible to increase the overall stability of the product. The floor of the beer caddy is actually finger jointed into slots around all four side panels to add to its structural support. If the finger joints were at the edges of the side panels, the floor could potentially fall out because it would be held in place only with some glue and friction. I also designed a cap catcher on one side of the beer caddy and added a second layer of quarter inch plywood where the bottle opener will be installed. This was to ensure that the bottle opener has additional support and that its screws can be hidden within the wood panels. When the two-dimensional design was complete, I extruded each component to match the thickness of the mahogany plywood. This is very important in my design process because it's the last time that I get to confirm that all my components, finger joints, and slots were designed correctly. And let me just say that I always find areas that need refinement, both for failure points and also from a design perspective. After extruding all of the shapes, I rotate them and begin constructing the project as I would in real life. I slot the pieces together one by one and assemble the end table from start to finish. As I do this, I keep an eye out for areas where the dimension of a component might be slightly off and I work back to figure out what needs to be fixed. I refine the design through this 3D modeling process until I'm satisfied with the outcome.
Now that the components for this beer caddy is designed, we're ready to start laser cutting this project. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to see more projects like this one. Starting the process of laser cutting, I start by applying paper masking on both sides of my mahogany plywood to protect it from any scorching and burning from the laser. If you want to see what tools and materials I typically use, go to the description section of this video and check out my resources page. Then, I place the material into my Glowforge laser cutter and start the process of cutting every component. Now that the pieces are cut, I remove the paper masking to reveal the beautiful mahogany wood finish. Then, I assemble the shelves and support pieces by inserting the finger joints of the shelves through the slots and gluing them into place. This process takes a little bit of brainstorming because there are specific components that need to be finger jointed and glued together in a specific order. I'm also very careful with using my hammer to hit any components into place so I don't break any of them. With the assembly complete, I apply oil to the surfaces of the plywood to give it a beautiful and natural finish. I also install the bottle opener on one of the side panels. Now, the project is complete and the beer caddy is ready for use. So that's how I design and make this custom beer caddy with a laser cutter. This was a fun project to work on and to give away to a good friend of mine. Let me know what you think about this project in the comment section below and remember to subscribe for more videos like this one. I'll see you again next week.